Hi guys, how are you all? I hope you're all well. Humble apologies for my absence. I wish with all my heart that I could regularly upload and be one of those YouTube creators. But sadly, and alas, my household will not allow it. It's too noisy. I don't have the lovely, blissful quietness that you get that most of those YouTube uploaders have. And I don't have the surroundings either. I cheat by putting this background. If you could see my bedroom, you'd be horrified. <laughs> However, I have been contacted by YouTube. They sent me an email shouting at me and saying that you have 30 days to upload. Otherwise, you're going to lose your YouTube creator benefits and I'm thinking hang on a minute I don't even get paid for my channel my channel is done purely as a hobby it's not monetized it has no adverts I don't make any money from it what are they going on about so whatever they're trying to say to me here I am anyway anyway I miss you guys and I owe it to you to give you an update on my skin before I move on to the other topic that I'm uploading today because I did create this channel with the intentions of covering topics and challenges as goddesses who are reaching our prime are facing. The update on my skin quickly is that it's looking the same as last time. I'm in control of my melasma. Now, I once again I don't know if it's because I'm now 56 years old and I started when I was 50. I started noticing my melasma changing. Probably that was the early signs of the menopause, which I'm going to go into in a few minutes with you. I have been trying out some new methods and one of them is because I had a seriously depressing problem regarding my menopause so it was the way I was eating my diet had to be looked at big time and I've started also using two new creams which are more natural I've become very mindful about what I put on my skin so it's not just about what we eat guys it's about what we're also putting on our skin that's just as important and i think that a lot of us have changed for the better i hope during lockdown and quarantine and one of the things i really researched was how harmful some of the products are that you buy um on the in, in your local pharmacy or, or your supermarket uh, I've decided, like for instance, the disclaimer, you just need to be reminded, I just need to make this really clear that what I am uploading and what I'm telling you is purely my journey and what I have personally experienced that works for me, that's all. So you can pick the bits that you like and the bits you agree or disagree with. Okay, I now need to tell you something quite controversial and you're going to be shocked when you hear this. I stopped using sunblock completely. I just, it has so much toxins. In, in my case, it was making my skin worse, I believe. What I have researched... And this is just my opinion. Please do your own research. Um, the sun is not as bad as what the media portrays it to be. And a lot of the damage, a lot of the skin problems that we are faced, that people are having, are from sunbathers who worship the sun literally are out there lying like a flipping beached whale getting tanned 
and putting sun lotion on that encourages them to get tired almost and the sun lotions themselves are just as bad if not even worse than sunblocks and that that's why you have quite a lot of cases of this skin cancer in people who are very light-skinned for instance um you know they are putting a lot of they have light skin so they will put lots and lots of block on or lotion on this lotion is very toxic and it ends up reacting maybe i don't know the science of it but that's just this is just my experience so i'm just saying maybe you can get a natural one maybe you can get a really natural one with hardly any toxins in it i haven't researched if you want to let me know put it in the comments below so it's not a case of telling you that you should be throwing away all of your sunblock that is not what i'm saying i'm just giving you my opinion yes we just have to be really mindful about anything that we use or consume the sun is nutritious for us as well very beneficial there's lots of reasons why we should go out there and soak up sun rays vitamin d and um, it uplifts your mood so everything in moderation none of this going out there lying there and exposing yourself even when you're on holiday guys you know as much as you like to have a tan you just have to like if you care more about your health and if you care about the state of your skin don't do it the other method that my skin has definitely benefited from is the change of diet and my eating habits i noticed during lockdown especially how much my body had changed but i hadn't acknowledged it before until it hit me during that period i was putting weight on fat in areas i'd never had a problem with before so much now i know i'm a mother of four and i'm very and i'm mature enough to accept my body and love it for the way it is okay i don't have a six pack never had one and i'd never strive to look like those women photoshopped photos of women that you see on social media but you know when you just are comfortable with your body and you have your clothes and everything and then suddenly you're just kind of like not getting in to your jeans and i don't have a size eight jeans that's uk size eight which is you american size six my i mean size four isn't it and my jeans are size 10 or us size six and i was always really comfortable like that but so i decided i needed to take drastic measures and action personally i've never been a fan of dieting any or i think psychologically it messes you up the minute you think you're on a diet you just crave and when you come off it you binge and i used to do that when i was younger and i used to be a dancer we used to starve ourselves we had we were like anorexic we had bulimia and it just I know from experience it just doesn't work so I didn't really like the idea of trying out something like the keto diet which is a really it's probably the most popular method of losing fat because it, it you have to admit it is very effective however I find it very um, dairy and carnivorous very meaty feeling meat is not complying to the spiritual journey that i'm on it's quite heavy and my beliefs are our bodies are becoming because we are a part of like a d density i feel as if my body is becoming lighter and doesn't need to consume heavy toxic foods so the only problem is i mean if there's any vegans out there watching this 
my goodness, you are my inspiration and I admire you, but I apologize that I am still a sucker for eggs. And my method was slow. I decided to take it really slowly because I know from experience and from watching people around me, close to me, that when you lose weight far too quickly, you end up losing it on your face and in your boobs and all your womanly curves just go and you look older. You look, you do look worse. And you also end up putting it all back on again after, even more, actually. Milk is for calves, guys. Come off it. Milk and wheat are bodies and sugar, but wheat and milk combine together. Gluten and milk form a glue in our body, which is really nasty and causes all kinds of problems. If you have any ailments, it goes, it homes into those problems and it causes, it literally feeds and nourishes anything that's wrong in your body. It will just exemplify it and make it worse, cause inflammation. So for everyone's health, you are better off eliminating gluten and dairy stuff and sugar as well. So I concentrated on the fresh raw food a lot, like I have um, vegetables and salad. Don't overcook your vegetables and I will still like my fish. I still have eggs as well. I love my eggs. That's a good source of protein for me. I love making omelettes and pulses. I love pulses like dal and um, quinoa, um, moderate portions of rice, sweet potato. I don't have a lot of potatoes a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables to make the body alkaline and more balanced the more acidic our body becomes with the wheat and the, the gluten and the dairy and sugar we become more acidic and this as i said is a breeding ground for all sorts of problems in our body it for people who have blessed them have got cancers or tumours, it thrives on those conditions. It just homes in like a missile and goes straight to the problem. And it, it actually encourages the problem to multiply the cells to grow and it, it just gets worse. So for all round benefit, not just for our skin or for our menopause, for everybody's health, we should listen to our bodies more. And I'm only saying this because I've got older. When I was younger, I was really careless. But if anybody, if you can give this advice and if anybody can benefit from it, it's job done. Talk about alcohol. Yep, I'm going to get really boring here because I know a lot of you hear that talk that alcohol can be your worst enemy when you're trying to lose weight. But I bet you didn't know why. It's not just the empty calories that are in alcohol, but it's what it does, how it inhibits the process of your fat loss. It makes your liver, and your liver is your body's biggest filter. It plays such a vital role, and it helps to eliminate and break down the fat in your body, especially if you're trying to lose weight. If you are consuming alcohol, even if it's just a few glasses of wine every night or evening, you, you are diverting the vital work of the liver to breaking down the toxins from the alcohol. So it's, that's a bigger job. It's going to do that first before it even thinks of working on your fat. So your fat it's just going to be left there to fester. Your fat's going to go by and go back to where it came from. What is the point? I'm back again after being summoned away for hours. Right, the last talking topic before I get interrupted again is exercise. 
so important really i don't want to patronize you guys because you probably know all about that but i do want to drum it drum it in your head that especially at our age as we get older and you know the bum can start to sag and your arms will get a bit flabby we need to exercise to look good in our jeans yeah and feel good about ourselves it's beneficial for us mentally gives us a better night's sleep improves our skin the list of benefits is endless so what do i do personally i prefer doing high intensity training which is hit and it's not as hardcore as it sounds you can find loads of channels on youtube with different levels and adaptions low impact to high i am not a gym bunny guys no i'm not and i don't like gym equipment either i prefer doing classes or on my own with that the most i use is weights dumbbells so what i do now first of all i started doing 10 to 15 minutes every other day and then the toning spot toning with weight strength bearing which is also really important for our age to build our bone density otherwise we're just going to go to date i am up to proudly 50 minutes of hit i never thought i'd hear myself say that if i can do it guys you can do it 20 minutes of spot toning for the abs for the arms for the glutes and back and then 20 minutes of stretch based yoga and it's become a routine so much to the point that if i miss my sessions i can kind of feel irritable as well which is good that wraps it guys thank you so much for listening to my journey on menopausal weight loss which is still ongoing work in progress let me know how you get on with yours now my next upload is going to be regarding chelitis i had that as well going on for months chelitis of the lips and i couldn't work out why my lips were swelling up why they were then going dry and peeling and it was an endless cycle so i would love to do an upload on that which is going to be in the next few days until then do take care especially in these trying times speak soon Love to you all.